Hi there and welcome to our latest in uh, our look at the classic constellations. And today we're going to look at Lyra, the harp. Now Lyra represents a musical instrument with strings used in antiquity, an early form of harp. And it contains Vega, the fifth brightest star in the sky and the second brightest star in the northern hemisphere. And it forms part of the summer triangle. It also has the famous variable star R.I. Lyra and is home to several no notable deep sky objects. Before we look at the stars, may I just say quickly, please subscribe. Uh, subscribers are really important to me. They show, they show me that people are interested in, in what I'm doing. Well, the first star, Vega, as we say, Alpha, Lyra, is the brightest star in the constellation with an apparent magnitude of 0 0.03 at 25.04 light years distant from Earth. It was the first star other than the Sun to be photographed and the first one to have its spectrum recorded, imaged by William Bond and John Adams Whipple at Harvard Observatory on the 17th of July 1850 and it was American amateur astronomer Henry Draper who took the first photograph of its spectrum in August of 1872. It was the North Pole star around the year 12,000 BC and it will again be the pole star in the year 13,727 so I wouldn't hang about waiting for that. 2.1 times as massive as the Sun, about a tenth the Sun's age, it's believed to be about 455 million years old which is half its life expectancy and it's believed to have a circumstellar dusk, uh, disk of dust as it emits excess infrared radiation. It may have at least one planet the size of Jupiter orbiting it. Sulafat, Gamma Lyra, is the second brightest star in the constellation with an apparent magnitude of 3.26, 620 light years distant. And Sheliak, Beta Lyra, a double star with the apparent magnitude of 3.52, 960 light years away. And R Lyra, a red giant a semi-regular pulsating star with an apparent magnitude that varies 3.9 to 5, 350 light years distant, it's significantly brighter, yet larger and cooler than the Sun. And RR Lyra, well-known variable star located near the borders with Cygnus. The star serves as a prototype for the entire class of stars known as the RR Lyra variables. These are periodic variable stars found in globular clusters and frequently used to measure distance, as the relationship between their pulsation period and their absolute magnitude uh, makes them excellent standard candles. RR Lyra itself is the brightest of them all, with an apparent magnitude which ranges from 7.06 to 8.12. Messier objects, we have M56, a globular cluster, with an apparent magnitude of 8.3, 32,900 light years away. And M57, the Ring Nebula, a famous planetary nebula in Lyra, which uh, is located south of Vega, about 40% of the distance from Beta to Gamma Lyra, and is relatively easy to find and a very popular target uh, for amateur astronomers with telescopes. Well, I hope you'll enjoy that little look at Lyra the Harp. Stay tuned. In the meantime, dark skies. Stay safe, take care, and thank you for watching, and bye for now.